noises in Sporkle. This one is bred around the world. It's part of a series of five quizzes called, pardon me, Food in Pictures. I got a little granola throat. I apologize. We have 30 seconds. Can we identify these worldly breads? Non. I, is this the honor system? I could identify non. Yes. I, I, you're going to think that I'm putting on airs. I could identify injera as well. A bagel is on lock. Tortillas on lock. Hala, easy mode. Baguette, absolutely. Pita, pretzel, I, that's 100%. That's a 100% right there. I think there's supposed to be a picture at some point on this one, but I'm telling you I would have gotten 100. How about this one? Okay, here we go. <laughs> the ways of the potato. Okay, you have tater tots. Latkes, mashed potatoes, French fries. That's a Hasselbeck potato, baked potato, wedges, and chips. Do we even need to like waste our time? This is too simple. I do not want to see what the average is on this. I guess, okay, those are hash browns, I suppose, but you know what I'm talking about. Average score, 84. Have you lost your mind? These are horrible quizzes. I would like to apologize <laughs> for what I... <laughs> For how we started this. You may also like find the whole foods. Almost useless food trivia. Pick the kitchen utensil. I can do pick a there we go. Pick a bread dish. We were looking for a bread quiz. Dude, these are too easy. A calzone. This is impossible. A cow's, this is a calzone. A Reuben sandwich. Bruschetta. It's right here. Has, bru has bruschetta had its moment yet? Is it back? When I was a kid, bruschetta, bruschetta went hard, dude. If you go to um, Moxie's restaurant at the Cataraqui Town Center, I know these days everyone's all about tuna tataki. You're having a, a date that isn't really a date at age 16 at Moxie's. Hey, do you want to start with the bruschetta? Oh, man. Okay. Kachapuri. This is from... Cook Serve Delicious, but I don't know which one it is. Chili dogs. Sucking off chili dudes inside the tasty freeze. This is fairy bread. Pan de muerto. Yeah, maybe if it's got some gluten in it. I don't know. Bread pudding. I've heard of it. I'm going to assume it's you. <clears throat> Summer pudding. Ice baby. I saw your pudding. Bunny chow. I know bunny chow. This is bunny chow. Sesame prawn toast. You can just make things up now, huh? I mean, so this kind of looks like sesame prawn toast, but I have no idea what that is. Dagwood sandwich. That's this right here. Toast Hawaii, I'm going to say that that's you. Rodi Kanai, you look like Rodi to me. Ban Mi, that's you right, right there. Egg in the basket, toad in the hole. We got Kachapuri, I think it's this. Pan de Muerto and Sesame Prawn Toast. I'm crazy. 100%. What, like it's hard? Pick a cheese dish. Fondue. How about we fond don't, Scott? That's fondue. Hispanic opera, it's Greek. Hey, by the way, did you see that? The, the, the clickbait article that got everyone very angry? That was like an a objective ranking of all world cuisines? Here's what I'm going to say about it. Italy, number one. It wouldn't be my number one, but I'm not going to argue. Greece, number two. It wouldn't be my number two, but I can't argue with it too much. Here's what, South Korea in 20th is a sham. You, you've, you've played your hand when you put South Korea at number 20. Canada, 92 out of 95, completely fair. Absolutely fair. I, I am not, I live in Canada. Canada has not contributed much to global cuisine. We have poutine, which is delicious. Um... That's about it. Tortier, like, come on. We're, Canadians don't eat that much Canadian food. We don't, like, we eat food from other parts of the world.
mostly America, but also, you know, like everywhere else. Where was France? I don't know. It was like third or something. I'm not talking shit about Tortier, okay? Don't tabernacle me. I'm just calling it like I see it. England was above Thailand? Okay, well, like, listen. Okay, I, I know I'm being a hater here. Thailand not being the highest ranking Southeast Asian country kind of blew me away. Like, I eat Vietnamese food more than I eat Thai cuisine, but I would have thought that Thailand would have been number one over Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos with a, with a damn bullet. But anyway... Hispanic opera. It's this. Tiramisu. It's this. Chili con queso. Great question. I'm going to pass. Pizza. I've heard of it. A croque monsieur. Poutine. That would be you. Mac and cheese. A caprice. Cap caprese. We went through this last week. Caprese. Croquetas de jamón. These are ham croquettes. Sag paneer. Welsh rarebit. Here we go. I'm pretty sure that this is Welsh rarebit. This is a... I'm just going to call it like I see it on this one. This is not a good looking quesadilla in my opinion. Where's the, where's the goop? It's, the cheese has got to be a little gooey. Why is it all... This looks like... When, it, when we were staying at the hotel we stayed in, they had a continental breakfast. I was so excited because I actually wake up for the first time in my life, like at 5.08 a.m. when it's open. They said hot breakfast every morning. I go down. I pull up the cloche. You know what they got in there? Individually wrapped Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich sausages. Breakfast sausage sandwiches. I was expecting at least like some scrambled eggs or something like that. Maybe some potatoes. Disgusting. In the, in the plastic, inside of like a, a sous vide water bath or something. I was like, oh man, what a disaster. Anyway, I had one every single morning. I wasn't happy about it. This is a case. This is what is reminding me of this because I was like, it's, it's supposedly made of real meat, real eggs, and real bread. Why is this shit so uniformly circular? Like, there's not even a. There's no deviation from the radius, you know? Everything is a damn circle to the extreme. It was too perfect. Pau de Quiedo. Pau, Pau de... Pau de Quiedo. Cannoli. This is cannoli. Alligat chili con queso. You are chili con queso. This sound, looks like bread to me. And I don't know what this is, just cheese, I guess. I'll take my 100 and I'll move on. Pau is bun. God bless every language but English. Portuguese, pau. Japanese, pong. Korean, pong. English, bread. Fuck you. French, pain. English, hamburger bun. This shit drives me crazy, man. Pick a potato dish. I'm just messing with you, okay? Spanish tortilla, my favorite potato dish. It's probably, no, that looks like a quiche. I don't know. I'm out of my element here. We did bread. I don't know why I didn't save my score. I got 100. Oh, no. Bubble and squeak. Hasselback potato. Tater tots. Gnocchi. Poutine. Too easy so far. Patatas bravas. I'm going to say this is... Pat I was about to say the stupidest thing in my entire life. I was going to say they're all just potatoes. Patatas bravas. Patatas bravas. Patatas bravas. Raclette. That's this right here. It's just a bunch of melted cheese poured on top of shit. Cole Cannon. Just, I bet it's you, but I don't know what that is. Chapalele? I'm in trouble, man. Lyonnaise potato. This looks French to me. Lyonnaise potato. Shoestrings, okay. Salchi papas. Duchess potato. No, this looks like a Duchess potato, bro. Potato chips. 
Sagalu, Spanish tortilla. Okay, here's where shit gets real. I'm going to say this is a Spanish tort. I'm going to say this is bubble and squeak. These are patatas bravas, coal cannon, chapalele, the Leonese potato, and the salchi papas. Now, nah, listen, that was harder, okay? 88% still pretty good. We crushed the average. I know a lot about potatoes. Pick a chicken dish. It's getting harder. Chicken paprikash. I thought that was something that Wanda Maximoff ate in Marvel. Okay, listen. This is samgetang. It's a Korean chicken and red ginseng soup. I, get, I know that one. Put me in the motherfucking clip. Buffalo wings. Familiar with them? Kokovin. Drunk chicken. Something. It looks a little bit like this. It looks a little bit like that. What the hell is this, by the way? Is it just a big coffee bean? Chicken parmigiana, just like mama used to make. Beer can chicken. Kung Pao chicken. I'm going to say that that is you right there. Coronation chicken. Sounds like a ritual that you do to somebody in midsummer. Coronation chicken. I'm going to pass on that one. The name scares me. Beggar's chicken. Beggars can't be choosers, so I'm going to assume that it's this. This is when you bury a chicken in the dirt and dig it up next year. Chicken Kiev. That's this right here. A, a wedding staple. This is satay yum yum. Chicken cordon bleu right there. Arroz con pollo. Great question. Jamaican jerk chicken. It's right there. Kakaliki soup. Chicken tikka. <laughs> Chicken paprikash. That maybe it's that. Coco bean. Coronation chicken. Can somebody tell me what the hell I'm looking at? This just looks like slivered almonds on top of like potato skins. Like what is this? Fingernail clippings? I have no idea. Which, what is this? I still don't know what the hell I'm looking at. What is this? There's, I'm assuming you crack it open and maybe there's a chicken inside of it or something. Beggar's chicken. Okay, I think this is Aro's con pollo because it looks edible and sounds edible. And then these two things. Listen, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like... This has got to be coronation chicken because you only do it once every 50 years. Wrong. This is the beggar's chicken. Was this like a, a ritual or like a punishment? Like if you get, if you're guilty of doing something, you have to eat the beggar's chicken or something like that? Like you committed a crime? What is it? It's a Chinese dish of chicken that is stuffed, wrapped in clay and lotus leaves, and baked slowly using low heat. It's wrapped in clay? Like that, like a it, like is that the spa? That is you're not wrong. That is terracotta pie. You don't eat the clay. Yeah, but like, how do you get all the clay off of it? Listen, like, this, this, this is like making a new pot every time you cook food. Like, what? We've, okay, the, the risk of this sounding like a bad take. Like, imagine if you were like, I'm making chili. Hold on. Let me get down in the forge real quick. I'm going to coat it in fucking iron. Why don't you just make a pot? You're using clay anyway. Yeah, so here's what we do. We make a cooking vessel, we put the chicken in it, and then we smash it and take the chicken out like some kind of fucked up pinata. Why not just let them enjoy their food? They're welcome to. I'm just saying, doesn't make any sense to me. And ergo, I'm threatened and annoyed by it. Bitterballin. Okay, hold on. What do I know here? I see beef tartare. 
I see pho, I see meatloaf, I see a Korean beef soup, which I'm going to guess is yuk gejang. Chicken fried steak. I don't know where you are. This is uh, beef. This is a manwich, also known as a sloppy joe. This is beef wellington, your stew, probably like an Irish stew. This is chili con carne. This is shabu shabu. Beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. You look like bitter balling to me. Steak tartare. Shabu shabu. Chateaubriand. Oh, my mistake. It's Chateaubriand. So where I grew up, at least at my local butcher shop, Chateau... No, wait. I'm thinking of a London broil. Chateaubriand is not beef wrapped around sausage. I know it's a cut of steak. It could be you. It could also be... No, I don't think it's you. You look too sinewy to be a, a, a classic steak cut. I'm going to guess it's you. Sloppy Joe. Chili con carne. Tafelspitz. Maybe? Goulash. Okay, goulash is this then. Faux bow. Rocky Mountain oysters. Those are beef testicles, you piece of crap. I, I bet it's this. I bet these are my Rocky Mountain oysters right here. Could be these, but I'm like, could be those. Let me, let me pass. Beef stroganoff. Yuk gejang. What did I tell you? Meatloaf. Beef rendang. Mince and tatties. Okay, you are mince and tatties. Those aren't, those aren't tatties. And you're not mince, obviously, but those aren't tatties. What are they called? Josh knows the answer. Those are tatties? <laughs> okay. Beef Wellington. Taffel spits. Rocky Mountain Oysters. Still, I'll take my 94. Pick a disgusting food. Let's go. No, it's pictures only, please. Happy Christmas, Sporkle. Can you pick the Christmas dish from the wonderful Christmas dinner below? I hate to do this, okay? Looks delicious. I don't know what the hell's going on right there. Looks delicious, delicious, delicious. What are, what's this? Stuffing balls? Is this a ligma? I'm, I, I know stuffing as a, a starch that you use like a serving spoon. Not like, you couldn't use tongs to get stuffing in my house. That's all I'm going to say. Bacon wrap something. Okay, whatever. This is European. I can, I can tell. I also have to, I hate to say it. I'm not big into the, the bulk batch Brussels sprouts. I love a Brussels sprout, but I am not that into the, hey, we, we boiled a bunch and then threw them all in the oven for a bit. You got to have, I know we've said it before, every sprout needs to have a little bit of attention, okay? They need to be cooked really, really hot, and then a little bit, they got to get a little bit more, like, Char on them. You can't just have them be like their default color. Anyway, how many we got? 22. Trifle. Okay, I'm moving on. Chihuahuas and blueberry muffins. Probably not going to do that one. Pick a celebration food from around the world. What might be eaten at Hanukkah in Israel? I'm going to say it could be latkes. What might be eaten at New Year in Thailand? That's a tough one. I'm going to say that it's Burberry Squares. Mid-Autumn Festival in China. Okay, that one's throwing me because I thought mooncakes were Chinese, but I don't think they're mid-autumn. Those are maybe, maybe they are a, a harvest food. Okay, Dia de Muertos. It's definitely when you eat frozen grapes. Just beans? I'm passing for a second. I don't know. New Year in Argentina? No shot. Christmas in Japan? KFC? Could be worse. Could be Popeyes. Thanksgiving in America? Oatmeal chip, chocolate chip 
raisin cookies, turkey. New Year in Spain. I pass. Anzac Day in Australia. I'm going to pass. Thoroblot Midwin Midwinter Festival in Iceland. Dude, it's got to be mangoes, right? Imagine you could only eat mangoes once a year in Iceland. There, listen, I've been to Iceland mm, twice, okay? I don't mean to brag much. Food was really good, but it, it was hilarious to me. We had a really, really great meal in a great restaurant. They brought out dessert, and it was clearly like a bit of a flex. You know what the dessert was? Something with pineapples in it. And they were like, check it out. Pineapples. And I was like, I like them. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's not that... I mean, I get that it was probably hard to get the pineapples here, like in Iceland. But at the same time, we're getting them... You know, you could just go to the grocery store and get them where I live. And they were like, too true. By the way, this meal will be 7500 American dollars. And I said, oh, is it happy hour? They did not laugh because that part of the story did not happen. But you could imagine it happening. Anyway, the long and short of it is I don't know. Christmas in Romania. I'm going to pass. Shrove Tuesday in England. What the hell is Shrewd Tuesday? I have no idea, dude. Burns Night in Scotland. Robbie Burns. That's going to be Haggis. Tet in Vietnam. Kind of just something tells me it's grapes. New Year in Iran. I'm going to say it's whatever this is. Wrong. It's Kuku Sabzi. Eid in India. Give me some Gulab Jamun. New Year in Thailand. Give me the mango. Dia de Muertos, give me Pau de Muerto. New Year in Argentina, give me beans. <laughs> it was I can't believe it. I thought it would have a more fancy name than that. New Year in Spain. It's going to sound a little crazy. Give me the cookies. Wrong. 12 grapes. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the tradition. I just didn't know it was so specific. <laughs> 12 grapes. Okay, this is Australia then. Yeah, it's at Biscuits, of course. Midwinter mid -winter festival. I believe in Iceland they eat cubes of fermented halibut that have been drying out over the mossy roofs over the previous several months. And it's to celebrate that the Lord of the Moon has become exhausted and his shift in the sky is going to end soon. And thus the days are going to get longer. And of course we know the longest day in Iceland. The sun comes up at 1.35 p.m. And it goes down at 2.30. And Christmas in Romania. Dolmades. Sarmales. What? Okay, Shrove Tuesday. They're eating some pancakes. Tet in Vietnam. Burberry Squares. That's a pretty good performance. I'm from Iceland. We do not eat hakarl on New Year's. I do it. Listen, countries that don't, and I know how this sounds. I'm not insulting Iceland. I'm actually insulting Canada, believe it or not. You could probably believe it. But like when your country has like one or two foods that is emblematic of your country, people not from there get the wrong idea. Like I don't know anybody who eats poutine more than once a year. There's, there's tons of them, I'm sure. They're all in like middle school and that's all their cafeteria serves. So like people, people eat it, but they don't like I've had poutine like once this last decade. I don't know if my parents have ever had it like in their entire lives. Even mouth mouth. He, he doesn't eat any meat anymore. I think, do you see what he's making? He's making like vegan lasagnas in his, he's, he's wrapping them in clay and then throwing them in the fire. Hi, honey. You just want to see me? Yeah. Hi, honey. Did you have a bath with mommy? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, mommy.
You want to shit on daddy? Yeah. Okay. Mommy's been a super mommy. While mommy was looking after baby, I cleaned daddy's uh, bathroom. And then uh, I ordered her favorite food. Then gave her a bath while I was cleaning the upstairs bathroom. Wow. How does she do all three things at once? At once. They what you want. What do I want? Thank well, first off, I'm going to say thank you, Mommy. Thank you. that food? What food? This one right here? What's that? That's a nugget. Those are chicken nuggets. What's this? Grapes. Grapes. What are these? Cookies. Cookies. What? Do you know these? Quesadillas, that's a really good guess, honestly. Those are pancakes, but they look a lot like a quesadilla. What's this? Grapes. Hmm? What's this one? Yeah. That's tough, right? These are beans. Do you know what this is? Yeah. What is it? Banana. Banana. That's a mango, silly. Mommy loves that. Yeah, mommy loves mangoes. What's this? Turkey. Chicken? That's a really good guess, honey. It's turkey. Turkey. Here, let's see if we can find one that you might you might enjoy here. Is there like a Peppa Pig quiz? Yo, great idea. Mm -hmm. Baby's first sporkle. Peppa Pig. Name the Peppa Pig characters. Okay, you ready for this, honey? Have my birds. You ready? Okay. Oh, this is just... It. We'll, we'll do it anyway. Okay, who's this? Oops. That's George. Good job. Who's this? Peppa. That's Peppa. Piggy. Peppa Piggy. Who's this? That's Mommy Pig. That's Mommy Pig. Excuse me? Okay. Uh, excuse me. Mum... Mummy, that's a ripoff, honey. You got scammed. Here, we're gonna find a good Peppa Pig one for you, okay? Yeah. Okay, don't rip the mouse pit, okay? Can you name these Peppa Pig characters? Oh, here we go. Okay, ready? Who? Oh, who is? This. No, it says Miss Rabbit. Okay, where's well? How is she gonna? You move the mouse to. She can just point. Okay, where's Miss Rabbit? It's down. She's at the down. Okay, we're gonna do it the other way. Um, who is this? That's the Edmund Elephant. Edmund Elephant. Who is this? Who is this? That's just a pig. It's just a pig? Yeah. What kind of pig is it? Who's this? It's Grandpa, pig. Grandpa Pig. Who is this? Pig. Wow. Who's this? That's a Daddy Elephant. Daddy Elephant? Yeah. What does Daddy Elephant do? He does the checkup for Peppa Pig because he's a dentist. Yeah. Who's this? Daddy Fox. Daddy Fox? Yeah. Let's say sure. Who is this? Daddy. Take a guess. We'll pass, okay? Yeah. Who's this? Good job. Who's this? Zoroth. Dinosaur. Who's this? Candy cat. Who is this? That's mommy zebra. Who is this? No, that's not it. Oh, oh. Who's this? That's a cute. That's a cute. The fun to white zebra's white. Who's this? Who's this? 
Joey Zebra. Who's this? Daddy Zebra. Who's this? Good job. Who's this? Two zebras. Two zebras. <laughs> yeah. Twins. Twins. They're in like one episode. That's not bad. Yeah, Zaza Zuzu. That was really good. And honestly, she would get Daddy and Mommy. And I would, Richard, Richard and Rebecca and Madam Gazelle for yeah. sure. For sure. Wow, 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 wow. Daddy's on display capture. Let's not touch the keyboard. Come here. Let's go eat some pasta. Yeah, pasta time. You want to do another quiz? No, she says she wants a nook one. That was amazing. She was cheating. She was reading the answers. Bro. That would be amazing. She'd be even smarter if she was cheating. I don't know. I don't know if she knows how to read. It'd be even more impressive, quite frankly. You don't know? Well, how am I supposed to know? Because sometimes she'll like pick up a book and like read a page, and I'll be like, "That's perfect." Do you know what it says, or are you just like repeating what you remember from me reading the book to you? So then I'll like point to a word and be like, what, is this sh what does this say? And she's like, um, you know, like Constantinople. And I'm like, too easy. What does this say? And it's like the, and she goes, Timbuktu. And I'm like, mm, not, no shot, no shot. <laughs> you, you say shit to your daughter? No. But if I did... Listen, I don't turn down the music if it has swearing in it, okay? You know why I don't turn down the swearing? Because it's just words. Like, I think it's less offensive for her to hear a song that says the F word than it is for me to lie to her and have her listen to some garbage like pentatonics. I'm not going to, like, ruin her life. By getting her into, like, bad music just because it's family-friendly. Remember you talking about this before? Yeah, I know. I, said, I still think the same thing. Faces of songs, too. What does this mean? What does this mean? I don't know what, I don't know what this means. I'm looking for pictures. Tracks on the back. Debut albums. Can you name the artist or album title for these debut records when given a track list from their back covers? Sure. Okay. I can try. Side one. Good times, bad times. You shook me. Dazed and confused. This is ACDC. Good times, bad... Oh, this is Led Zeppelin. Head Like a Hole. This is uh, Nine Inch Nails. Last Train to Clarksville is The Monkees. Money Changes Everything. Girl Dude, what? Cindy Lauper was going off. Money Changes Everything, track one. Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Time After Time, She Bop. That's four... Her four best songs in five tracks. That's kind of crazy. This is a call... All Stick Around, Big Me. This is the Foo Fighters. Tennis Court, 400 Lux Royals. Ribs, Buzz Cut Season. This is Lord. Genie in a Bottle, Christina Aguilera. I see Paradise City. That's Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses. Radio Free Europe, Talk About the Passion. Uh, excuse me, you think I don't know R.E.M.'s good albums when they were college rockers? Calling out in transit, ready. Murmur goes hard. We die young, man in the box. That's Alice in Chains. Hannah Jane, hold my hand. Let her cry. Only want to be. Only want to be with you. The hootie and the blowfish. Don't forget about the blowfish. Sultans of Swing, Dire Straits. I'll tumble for you. Take control. Love twist. Boy, boy. Robert Downey Jr. pointing. I am the boy. I'm afraid of me. 
White boys can't control it. Do you really want to hurt me? Culture club? Ah, he's crazy! Ponda replay. This is Rihanna. How will I know? All at once. Take good care of my heart. Greatest love of all. How will I know if it's Whitney Houston? Mr. Brightside, smile like you mean it. Somebody told me all these things that I've done. Listen, I'm not a killer's guy, really, but uh, I'll tell you, hot fuss goes pretty hard. Let's, let's give that, that's the killers. And then this next one, obviously, is um, Lady Gaga. The A-team, drunk, uni, grade eight. Surfing, summertime blues, cuckoo clock. Chug a lug, Little Miss America. Is this the Beach Boys? And then I see Boston. I don't know 2011. Is this Bo Burnham? It's got eighth grade on it. I pass. I mean, I'll tell you, Boston self-titled 1976 goes pretty hard. More than a feeling, um, peace of mind. Something about you that's got a hold over me. I got this feeling inside. Gotta have you, have you. Ain't no room to hide. Foreplay, long time. There's a lot of good ones, man, okay? It's all hits. Ed Sheeran, minus plus. Literally don't care. Just could not care less. Write three good songs, and then I'll, I'll learn your, your, the name of your albums, Okay. Okay, what is this? 90s rock albums. Okay, I see that we have Nirvana first. This is uh, In Utero. We obviously have OK Computer. Ooh, Alan is posting. That's Jagged Little Pill. Down, 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 down. Obviously, we have Weezer self-titled album Blue. We have uh, Green Day. Um, that one is called... I'm trying to do the album. That one is called um, Dookie. Enter Sandman. We have Metallica self-titled The Black Album. Round Here, Omaha, Mr. Jones. We have Counting Crows. I don't know what the album is called. August and Everything After. Or as I like to call it, September. We have Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. We have... Um, I don't know the name of this REM album. Are you Green? Are you, I don't know, R.E.M. Out of time. I see Blood, Sugar, Sex, Magic by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I see uh, Guns N' Roses. I'm going to say it's Appetite for Destruction. Two. One, two. It's Guns N' Roses. Use your illusion. I'm a fool. I see The Battle for Los Angeles by Rage Against the Machine. I see the other classic Rage Against the Machine album, which I can't remember the name of. Self-titled. I see The Color and the Shape by uh, Foo Fighters. I see 10 by Pearl Jam. I see What's the Story, Morning Glory. I see Soundgarden, Super Unknown. I see Stone Temple Pilots, The Elegant Bachelors. I see The Cranberries. And then I gotta be honest, everything zen, swim, bomb, little things come down. You Moby, you piece of shit. Somebody to shove, black gold, runaway train, keep it up, homesick, get on out. New World. I don't know these two. I, I give up and I pass. Soul Asylum, no shot. Bush, honestly, no shot. No shot. I, wouldn't, I would never have gotten them. I don't know if I know a Soul Asylum song. Do they sing? Yeah. Whoa. Heaven, let your light shine down. Yep, that's Collective Soul. Is that a song by Soul Asylum? Or is that the band that sang Let Your Light Shine Down? 
No shot. No shot. <laughs> Sorry. Tracks on the back, 80s pop albums. Dancing in the Dark. Okay, well, that's Bruce Springsteen, but uh, I don't know if I'd call it a pop album necessarily. Spirits in the Mat. Every Little Thing. This would be The Police. Burning Down the House. This is The Talking Heads. Speaking in Tongues. Uptown Girl. This is Billy Joel. Um, it's called Billy Joel. Presenting Billy Joel. Billy Joel. An Innocent Man. <laughs> Papa Don't Preach. This is Madonna. Like a... No, okay. This is Madonna. True Blue. I knew that one. In the Air Tonight. That's Phil Collins. In the Air Tonight. Who can it be? Knocking at your door. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, don't go away. Come around here no more. This is Cargo, The Best of Men at Work. I forget what it's actually called, but it's the, the, the album itself. Business as usual. I can't get to sleep. I want a new drug that's sports by Huey Lewis in the news. Hungry Like the Wolf. That's Rio by Duran Duran. Another classic. Who Wants to Live Forever? It's something by Queen. Maybe A Night at the Opera. Maybe it's the Highlander soundtrack because it has Princes of the Universe. This is Queen. Kind of magic. Let's Go Crazy. Computer Blue. This is Prince, um, Prince Purple Rain. Straight Up, Next to You, Cold Hearted, One or the Other. I want to say the police again, but I, and I honestly... I, oh, you know what I do see, though? I see the best album of 1986, Paul Simon's Cultural Appropriation, but also it's a masterpiece, uh, Graceland, featuring Ladysmith Black Mombasa. One of the albums of all time, without a doubt. Okay. Let It Rock, Give Love a Bad Name, Living on a Prey. I'm going to say that this one is Slippery When Wet by Bon Jovi. Nasty. What have you done for me lately? You Can Be Mine, The Pleasure Principle. Are you Janet Jackson? I don't know how I knew that, honestly, considering that everything I know about Janet Jackson comes from Peloton Rides and uh, her role in The Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. Talking about a revolution, fast car across the line, across the lines, that's Tracy Chapman, of course. Sunday, Bloody Sunday, this is U2. Freedom, this is Wham. What's love got to do with it? It's Whitney Houston once more. I mean, Tina Turner once more. Never going to give you up. <laughs> you memer. You memer. I don't know this one. Cold hearted one or the other. The only next to you I know is, uh, is by the police. Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul. From like American Idol. She makes music now. Okay, 70s rap uh, 70s rock albums. 70s rap albums would go hard, though. The song is called, the track list is Basketball. It says, Basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. Okay, first one, we got, um, it's Black Sabbath. Huh? Custard Pie, The Rover, In My Time of Dying? I don't know. But you know what I do know is that the next one is Who's next? Getting in tune, right in tune. I'm in tune. I'm gonna tune. Right in. That's a classic. I don't want to be a soldier. Mama, I don't want to die. Give me some truth. Oh, my love. How do you sleep? How? Oh, Yoko. This is the Plastic Ono Band. This is John Lennon. Riders on the Storm. It's The Doors. It's God Save the Queen by the Sex Pistols, which is called Anarchy in the UK. My mistake. Which is by the Sex Pistols. It's called Introducing the Sex Pistols. Never mind the bollocks, that's right. Okay, I see, uh, I see the police again. I don't know what any of their albums are called. I see Paul Simon, of course. Oh, you know what? Excuse me? Uh, Simon and Garfunkel. I see uh, one of the best albums of the 70s, of course. Everybody loves to go on their longboard and drink Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice to Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Who Loves the Sun? Of course, that's the Velvet Underground. This, is, um, this would be Loaded, I think. Yeah, okay. 
because it's the only one that came out in the 70s. Dust in the Wind is Kansas. I don't know this next one, I think. Panic in Detroit, Cracked Actor. Time, The Prettiest Star, Let's Spend the Night Together, The Gene Genie, Lady Grinning Soul. Is this Kiss? <laughs> they love Detroit. Um, okay, I see Santana after that. I see uh, Blondie. I'm going to say that's Heart of Glass. I was just trying to flex. I didn't know the answer. I The next one looks like Chicago, just from the font, but I don't know the... I don't know any of these songs. Are you yes? <laughs> it is yes. <laughs> Listen, I'm pretty much like a close to the edge head. I should have, you know what? I should have looked at the fact that it has a 22 minute long song and been like, I bet it's going. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I see Queen. I see Pink Floyd. I see the Kinks. I see the Rolling Stones. I see CCR maybe. And then I, I honestly just could not tell you who this is. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and Led Zeppelin physical graffiti, of course. Listen, I I blame David Bowie for not putting like a single timeless song in the last six tracks of Aladdin Sane. He couldn't have put like Life on Mars track eight or something like that. Moonage Daydream, Suffragettes, just something. What about Gene Genie? I dream of Genie. That's all I know about that. Tracks on the back in black. Hit the sack. Been too long. I'm glad to be back. Chasing pavements. That's Adele. I see Folsom Prison Blues. I'm going to type Folsom Prison Blues. Uh, Wanna be sedated. That's a Ramon self-titled. Yep. Eruption. Van Halen. New kid in town. Life in the fast lane. This is the Eagles. What the hell is this? Wasted time, track four. Wasted time, re reprise right after that? Give it a break. Living on the Edge. This is uh, Aerosmith. Get a grip. What an album cover. Sharp Dressed Man. ZZ Top. <clears throat> 99 Problems. This is uh, Jay-Z self-titled. What happens if you just type self-titled? The Black Album is not self-titled. It's called The Black Album. Selling the drop. Lightning crashes. An old mother dies. Her placenta falls to the floor. That's live. Visions of Joanna. That's blonde on blonde. Don't fuck with me. I know my Dylan, okay? Highway Star. This is Highway Star by Deep Purple. This is Deep Purple by Deep Purple. Machine Head. Always Be My Baby. This is Mariah Carey. Tom, ooh, Tom Sawyer, Red Barchetta, YYZ, Limelight. I forget what comes after, but it ends with the camera eye. And there's, um, what else you got in there? Hold on, let me think. Uh, you got some uh, witch sign, vital signs, and then the one that's like, uh, I forget. It's moving pictures, though. But the, honestly, it might be my pick for the best first three tracks on any album of all time. It goes in. You, you ever go on for a drive? You don't want to be in the car? Just put on, put on moving pictures and go to town. What's wrong with Limelight? It's a little too pedestrian for me, quite frankly. Like, I would like Limelight more if it was like nine minutes long. Or if Getty Lee went, uh, Eyes wide open, hot, undefended, innocent sun varnished. Uh, I see Back in Black. I see Def Leppard. I know this because, like, I'm going to be honest, I love Sam Yo as a Peloton instructor. I had to stop taking the Sam Yo classic rock rides because I know too much about Def Leppard. And honestly, I do not care for them. And I've, I've heard every single one of these damn songs. Probably 10 times. 
Like, you know, this song is called Armageddon It because it sounds like I'm a getting it. I hate it, dude. Rocket kind of goes hard. And uh, listen, I'll give you some credit for it. And I want, and I need, and I'm all. But anyway, purple haze all over my brain. This is the Jimi Hendrix experience. Sweet Leaf After Forever Embryo Children of... I should know Sweet Leaf. I should know Sweet Leaf, dude. Stan, Paul, Who Knew, The Way I Am. This is Eminem and Lil Wayne. Three Babies, The Emperor's New Clothes, Nothing Compares to You, Sinead O'Connor. Where Eagles Dare, The Trooper. This is The Trooper. This is Iron Maiden, The Trooper. Sweet Leaf. I, I gotta hit... I gotta hit an X on this one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I should have known. I should have known. Those are great quizzes, though. NL, I got to see Def Leppard over the summer. I'm not a Def Leppard hater. It's just that I, I would be content to just be agnostic to Def Leppard, except for the fact that I'm exposed to them all the time. Like, at, at least they're not ACDC. Where you can't go anywhere without hearing. But like, I still, I, I don't like them. If you like them, then I'm glad that you saw them. If you don't like them, then that I apologize. Debut album cover or not. We can't do that because they always give us Nevermind by Nirvana. It drives me crazy. <laughs> it just pisses me off, man. <laughs> See, what did I tell you? Tracks on the, we did this one. Pick the correct studio album for. Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic. God, I fucking hate Aerosmith, dude. Let's, let's look at this shit. And this doesn't even have, is it Get a Grip? The one that's like, uh, it's got like a, a cow with like a branded Aerosmith logo on his ass. Anyway, this is Toys in the Attic. I'm, I know it's going to give me Nirvana, dude. Hold on, let me just... I didn't see Nirvana. I saw, I saw Weird Al's Nirvana parody. Okay. I saw it. That was Weird Al, dude. That was Weird Al. Rick Astley. Where, whenever you need somebody. Boom. Tina Turner. Private dancer. This is definitely a private dancer who dances for money. Journey's Escape. 100% this. Weird Al Yankovic. Bad Hair Day. I mean, this is iconic. Black Sabbath's Paranoid. This is Alien Baby. This is Tenet. This guy looks paranoid to me. Pet Sounds. Oh, come on, dude. You can't fuck around. It's like one of the most iconic albums of all time. Parallel Lines. I mean, I got to say it's that one because the lines are parallel. American Pie. Probably go with that one. And Justice for All. It's this one. I'm crazy. Pick the correct studio album five. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Just like, listen, I don't have a problem with Nevermind's cover, okay? But like some people might, and I disagree with them, but I might as well. Yeah, there it is. Dude, it's there, but they self-censored it. Let's go. We're free. We can do as many of these as we want to do now. Joni Mitchell's Blue. Californication. Don't even start with me. Garth Brooks, In Pieces. I know is this one. Track two, Standing Outside the Fire. My favorite song when I was seven years old. Nirvana's Nevermind. Leonard Skinnerd, Street Survivors. Honestly, these look like some guys who are surviving out on the streets here. Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Don't, don't test me. Dude, wait, wait, wait. One of those was, was Camp Low, Uptown Saturday Night. Am I making myself look like a fool here? That was not even a Marvin Gaye album. That's it's got Lucini and uh, 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 Cooley High on it. Anyway, Hybrid Theory. That's this one right here. The Chronic, dude. This, come on, 
make it a little tougher. Okay, not that hard. Which one of you fuckers is power slave? Um, this guy? Wrong. <laughs> Sticky fingers. That's you right there. That's still a pretty solid 90. Pick the correct movie actors. Pick the correct movie actors. Pick the correct movie actresses unplayed. Come 